concerning the fact that uh, the Arab and Middle Eastern economies have really not been part of the globalization trend and movement except for the oil and petrochemical sector and except a little bit for Turkey because of its uh, uh, various links with Europe, the European Union and the eventuality that Turkey would join uh, the European Union someday. But in general, the Arab economies have remained, and the Middle Eastern economies have remained uh, outside the revolution in technology, in science, in new industries like electronics, like uh, uh, telecommunication, uh, etc. And uh, we are still plagued by the problem of unemployment, especially with the youth population and the youth population coming out of university. We are still affected by a lot of rural poverty, by illiteracy in rural areas. We have still many problems and uh, this is the situation that I have described. The dramas of illegal immigration, which proves that something is, is really wrong, uh, in both economies, because also in Europe there is a demand for illegal work uh, and that you have people that uh, uh, take enormous amount of money from, from poor migrants to get them in dramatic condition into Europe and that uh, up to now uh, the policy of containing uh, illegal immigration has not yielded any result it is at the great cost uh, to European countries uh, and uh, we need today to think about much bolder solution to this problem which requires a lot of new thinking, a lot of, uh, of reforms in, in both economies, the southern economies and the northern economies. Really? So this was... Uh, developing the idea of uh, creating more solidarity between trade unions. Uh, again, it was said that uh, this would, would help and that the, the present context of economic crisis might open the door. Uh, but also I explained that uh, in the southern uh, Mediterranean country, most uh, trade unions are under uh, control by their governments and that in northern uh, part of the Mediterranean basin also the, the trade unionist movement has uh, been weakened considerably during uh, the last decades uh, by globalization itself and by the fact that salaries has been compressed uh, so that uh, financial profits would, would take uh, all the revenues, the greatest part of the revenues of productive activities. Uh, but I said that, I mean, uh, there is a window of opportunity uh, to try to create a kind of solidarity between Mediterraneans because um, the UPM of Mr. Sarkozy uh, is all of Europe. <laughs> the South and, and uh, in fact there is no institutional context for the Mediterranean countries themselves. I said I don't see any big change uh, in the future uh, because um, the economic structure, the real economy, uh, hasn't really change in the last decades. Uh, certainly with the help of the European Union, the IMF, the World Bank, I didn't mention them, but I mentioned the European Union, there has been a modernization of the legal context uh, of the modern institutions, central banks, uh, insurance companies, etc. But this has not affected the real economy. It, is, it has remained very formal changes. The real economy is still affected by the same big problem in the rural world, etc., etc. Et and the only 
the change, ah, and uh, these are rent economies that are, uh, I describe also the rents uh, coming from foreign uh, aid, coming from the uh, emigrant remittances, coming from the tourism sector, uh, coming from the oil, etc. Et and that as long as this rent economy is predominant, it will be very difficult to change. And um, I mean, the, the, the oil reserves are very huge in this region, I mean, 60, 100 years, so it's very difficult to anticipate any changes, except if this uh, solidarity that we have described before would crystallize somewhere or somewhere, but it's impossible to predict when such things can happen. Hello!